For years, Dr. Krauss was an advisor to the American Heart Association and a firm believer that higher saturated fat meant a higher risk of heart disease. But when he tried lowering people's cholesterol levels by putting them on low-fat diets, he got a nasty surprise. We thought that everybody would get better on this diet, that their, that their cholesterol profile would improve. What we found was that the average man uh, whom we were studying with a normal profile to start with uh, actually got worse. Not surprisingly, this made Dr. Krauss question whether saturated fat was quite as bad as everyone believed. So he reanalyzed 21 separate studies that looked at saturated fat and heart disease. His new analysis found no obvious link. When I first read your paper, which was a while ago, uh, it was uh, a shock and a revelation at the same time because, uh, you know, I was also convinced that uh, saturated fat must be bad. Looking at all the studies, on the average, there was no net effect of saturated fat per se and heart disease risk. Uh, and so heart attack risk was slightly higher, but not significant. Stroke risk was actually reduced. And so overall, if you took it across the entire range of disease, heart disease and stroke, there was absolutely zero effect uh, on, on those conditions. Others have come to a similar conclusion. Now, that doesn't mean saturated fat is a health tonic but it does suggest the fear of saturated fat has been overdone. But is there something else in red meat that could be clogging our arteries? So we know that there is an association between high intakes of processed meat, red meat, and heart disease, but we don't really know why. And of course, the evidence for saturated fats has changed in recent times, and so this kind of makes the whole arena much more interesting, but a little confusing. And I think it's very important that we understand the mechanisms before we jump to conclusions about what we do about it. And so it'll be very interesting to see what we learn next about the connection of red meat and cardiovascular diseases. Dr Krauss is currently involved in new, more controversial research into meat coming out of the Cleveland Clinic. It suggests that, yes, there is an ingredient in red meat that could increase your risk of heart attacks. But bizarrely, it's concentrated not in the fat, but the lean part of the meat. It's a nutrient called L-carnitine, which is abundant in red meat. Like the steak Dr. Krauss is cooking me for lunch. Carnitine was really the substance that led to concerns about meat. It does appear to have effects on the buildup of cholesterol in, in the cells that form plaque in the arteries. This research suggests that L-carnitine can react with bacteria in our gut to produce TMAO, a substance that can slow down the removal of cholesterol from our arteries. It just happens that the bugs that live in our intestine um, seem to like to eat carnitine. And yeah. they happen to produce this substance, and they don't care what happens uh, after that. Okay. So the TMAO, which the kind of bacteria have kicked off, uh, are then going to be going into my arteries, and they're going to be clinging on to the, the fat. That's right. That's kind of the hypothesis. That's the theory. That's the hypothesis. 